In this one, we're going to compare the coils of two different types of relays. The relays are actually identical sizes and types, but one of them has an AC coil and one has a DC coil. And we're going to compare these two looking at the size and length of the wire that's wrapped around them and the uh, resistance that each one of these coils have. Now remember, one's AC and one's DC, so the AC coil is inductive. The DC coil is not. So let's see what happens here. Okay, we have the AC 24 volt coil here, and we're showing 11.3 ohms. Now understand, this is an AC coil, so the total impedance includes the resistance of the coil, but it also has back EMF that creates more resistance for a total impedance. So that low uh, resistance coupled with the back EMF makes enough impedance so this uh, coil will work properly without burning up, but it will pull in the uh, armature of the relay. Next we're going to look at the DC relay. Okay, now we're showing the DC relay with the meter on it, and you notice we have 100 ohms. Okay, that higher ohms simply means there's more resistance. So they both are rated at 24 volts, but one's DC and one's AC. Because there's no back EMF with the DC coil, then you have to get your resistance so that it doesn't overheat. It has enough power to pull in the armature, but doesn't overheat uh, by lengthening the wire and making it smaller. Okay, so there's a comparison between the AC and DC coils on identical relays. Their ohms resistance uh, as measured by an ohmmeter. That's all on this one.